Hey guys, Nikki here and welcome back to my home kitchen. So for today's recipe, we're going to be making a very popular Italian dessert called panna cotta. So let's get started with the ingredients. So for the ingredients, I've got 170 grams of double cream, two packets of strawberry jello powder, 500 milliliters of whole milk, half a tablespoon of vanilla essence, 25 grams of sugar, one cup of pomegranate, and one packet of unflavored gelatin. So first we're gonna take a small pan here and we're gonna add in the milk. Next we're gonna add in the sugar. The vanilla essence. and the cream. And we're just gonna mix that here till everything dissolves. And once that's heated up, we're gonna add in the gelatin powder. Now that our milk mixture here has combined nicely, our double cream has also dis dissolved. Now we're gonna add in the gelatin and we're just going to give that a mix here and we're going to just stir frequently till the gelatin dissolves as well and we're going to let this mixture cool and start off on the next process our milk and cream mixture is ready so we're going to put them into these glass molds now. What I've done is I've taken a deep bottom dish. I've rolled out uh, a hand towel here so it doesn't slip. And I've put a hand towel right here so we can keep these glasses at an angle. And now we're just going to gently pour in the liquid here. Just like that. Just evenly between all the glasses. So I've got all the liquid here into the four glasses and we're just gonna leave this, put this in the fridge to get let it set for about one or two hours. So for the next step, I've taken a measuring jug here and to that I'm going to add in the two pouches of jello and to that I'm going to add in 500 mill milliliters of water and we're just going to give that a good mix and let this cool down before we add this mixture into the panna cotta. And now for the final part of our recipe, we're just going to be standing these glasses up from a slanting position and we're going to pour in our jello mixture here, which we prepared earlier. You got to just make sure that it is completely cooled down or else it's going to melt our panna cotta. Okay, so let's get started with that here. Just in equal parts. And to top this off, we're just going to put in some pomegranate seeds. Just like that. And then we're going to leave the rest for garnish later once it's fully set and our dessert is finally ready. So thanks so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And we'll see you next week with another recipe. Bye guys.